Welcome back to Ozarks Live. Blake and I are here again for yet another episode about the race around the world. Another week, another episode. I just, these seasons are so crazy because it just feels like they fly right on by. You know, it feels they like really we're just do. really in the depth of it and I'm getting really excited to see how this thing plays out. But yes. I wanted to point out something really fast. So I was texting Cami after last week and I was like, oh my gosh, we never even talked about who got eliminated. <laughs> so I wanted to point that out really there was fast. So much that happened yes, the there last was episode. so much that happened. So in the first leg in Switzerland, when they returned, Michael and Mo, the singing um, Buffalo police officers, yes. did get eliminated once again. Yeah, like for the yes. second time. They, like they literally were same so mistakes. blessed to be able to come back. I know. And they're like, we're ready this time. We yes. have a new strategy this time. Yes. And they got eliminated same. again. I felt it really sad for them. Mistakes. It was really sad. Um, and then also our um, friends from Columbia, Dusty and Ryan, they won the last leg. They're killing it so far. They and They are. Yeah. And they got, and they, um, you like win something extra every time you win a leg. And so last mm -hmm. week they got cash. I think it was like 2,500 or something, which is great. Extra money is always great. That's amazing. So, I am yeah. so rooting for them. Yeah. I mean, you know, Missouri boys. I know. I, mean, I know. It's like, it, really it just are. makes it more exciting to watch. Yeah. And, you know? and, and the whole story behind them too. Yeah. Yeah. Which we've talked about in the past. Yes, but. absolutely. So the start of this next leg, we're still in Switzerland, um, and Phil announces that the teams will now leave in 15-minute intervals based off their placement. And I believe what he said was this is kind of due to the self-driving aspect um, because they're self, they're pretty much self-driving the rest of the Which, race. I'm really surprised about that. Yeah. It seems like there's some kind of liability involved in that. I know. That. And also I think it's kind of funny that it's like normal drive like it, they don't have to use stick shift you know like it's like easier uh -huh. i guess and the steering wheel is on the correct side yeah, I noticed that Some, too. sometimes so I a lot like, of those european countries i know on the other I was side so so they just act like they're here and but i will normal. say i don't know i don't know about you but i would struggle so hardcore to have to use one of those like paper maps listen i grew up in <laughs> gps on your phone era so i'm like having okay. to pull one of those out i think i would be confused you poor thing no i grew up with paper maps in fact last summer when we were vacationing with my entire family. My dad still had his big love atlas it. out. I love it. And he was pointing it on the atlas where we we're going. I'm like, Perfect. hey, dad, I got GPS now. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, I would start, I would be like, Phil, can I please have my phone? I would be so lost. I would be so lost. But okay, this episode was really exciting. There was a lot of really cool challenges. So the roadblock, they have to drive two and a half hours to this bungee jump and they have to bungee jump off the dam. And would you do it? say that it was like the tallest in? In like Switzerland or Europe or something crazy. Something like that. Something and where I was like, absolutely where, not. You know, last week I was like, oh yeah, I do the whole mountain thing and now the whole bungee jump. I've never done that before. I don't know. I don't know because like initially no. I want to say there's no way I would do it. Yeah. But in that circumstance and all the hype and everything that's going on, mm -hmm. I mean, push me off the edge. Yeah. I guess I'm going, yeah. you know? <laughs> well, and I loved how they like revealed it because you had to like, it, it felt, the way it, it was edited at least, you had to pick before. So then you're like, oh, okay, yeah, I'll do it or whatever. And you open it and you're like, Oh my God, I, like Kim Holderness's reaction was amazing. She was like, oh my God, okay. And then it was just laughing at her. I love that moment. That was really fun. But I don't think I would do it. It was really, it was too much for me. I would hope whoever I was doing it with you know, would be able to do it. There were a few it, I thought couldn't actually do it that did it. They, like, yeah, wow, they honestly all did really well with it. I'll say, it, like they made it look easy. Which no was one died nice. of a heart attack. <laughs> yeah, and that, hey, which is always a plus. Yes. So then we go to the detour where you have to either do um, a bartender race or sausage in case, which essentially the difference is you either take these like sausages and you have to like roll them up a very specific well, way. Well, yeah, stuff the sausage first, oh, okay, right? That's, what it was. that's yeah, the hard yeah, part. Yeah. And then roll it up. Yes. Yeah. And it has to be like picture perfect for like the, the judges. They have to go and get it checked. They're very particular about this. Very things. particular. Yeah. Or you have to go and you have to get so many bags of nuts and bottles of wine and take it up what is literally the most insane staircase I've ever seen in my life. And it's not just one trip up there because you can't carry everything. You can't in one carry trip. everything. They don't mention that yeah. when you pick. You know, they're like bartending. They're like, oh, that sounds fun. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, you think yeah. it's fun? You know? And that's the other thing because you don't see the staircase before. So you start the challenge, then you're like, oh, this is where we have to deliver it up to. <laughs> So that, look, I will say though, it was funny. There was a lot of tension between a lot of the teams with that one, which made me laugh a lot. But overall, I think this was a great episode. Um, once again, our guys from Columbia, Dusty and Ryan, they pull out the win, yes. which was really fun to see. And they, they, I mean, they killed this entire episode. And like I mentioned, you win something every time you win a leg. So they won a trip for two to the island of Dominica, which was really exciting. That's incredible. I'm like, that's cool. You're already traveling the world and now you get an extra trip on top of that. You know, yeah. what beats that? Literally what beats that? I know. And then Lulu and... 
Lala. Lala, I, I still, yeah, the every, twins. I yeah. hesitate to say her name every time. Yes. But they came in second, yeah. which I was surprised about, but yeah. that's awesome. I feel like they're kind of on the come up. They like are. they're doing better. They're like I mentioned last week, they're definitely like being um, better with their communication. Yes. Seems like they have a better healthy um, relationship going on this time yeah. around. I think that's so, the most important thing in this yeah. whole game is that healthy uh, being able to work together and yes. read each other's minds a little yes. bit. You know? But Arun and Natalia, mm -hmm. so they come in last place again. And as you know, they were eliminated prior to kind of the COVID shutdown. However, feels like it's a non-elimination leg, so they were not eliminated, but let me tell you, they should have been. They were <laughs> be so <laughs> far behind yeah, everyone and, else. And that kind of tells the story, I think, of what's gonna happen in yeah, the future. I know, and I'm, so. I'm interested to see, but I will say, it, it always makes me interested when it's a non-elimination versus the next one being elimination, because I'm like, so if they don't go next time, That'll be interesting to see who goes instead. You know what I mean? After the the way they performed in this leg. Yeah. So I don't know. But we'll see. We'll see. They're not going to win. I, yeah. I, I don't know. I don't think they're going to win either. But interesting. So. Yeah. All right. Well, now check out this exclusive sneak peek clip from tonight's episode. Check it out. It's taking so long to heat up, dude. I, dude, this is going to take forever, brother. This mule thing may not be a bad idea. Dude. All we're doing is saddling a mule and riding it down. If you think it, let's do it. Are we just being impatient? This is literally nothing. Is hers curdling yet? So right now we're dealing with Dusty's uh, madness of thinking we should switch uh, and not knowing whether or not this is going to work out. We're thinking this could take quite a while. We don't know what we're looking at in the other thing. So basically, we got to trust Dusty's instinct because he's the only one who's done it. I don't know how to use a, a thermometer, guys. Do you know how to use a thermometer? Oh my god. 43, 44, it's going out. I mean, I just feel like nothing is happening. Dusty, we, we stand and going. Let's go. I feel like it's smarter just to stay. Oh, man. Are they going to fall behind? What is going to happen with them? Oh, I'm kind of nervous. Not. I know. I hope not. I'm, oh, Surely man. Surely they'll catch back up. Yeah. They'll, they'll kill it. But anyways. I have faith in them. Yes. <laughs> check it out tonight. As always, you can watch it right here on Color 10 or catch up tomorrow morning on ParamountPlus and CBS.com. That's right. We'll be right back.